In an era dominated by stealth, multi-role capability, and network-centric warfare, the Saab JAS-39 Gripen emerges not as a brute force solution, but as a masterpiece of smart engineering. Sweden's answer to modern air combat isn't the largest, the heaviest, or the most expensive fighter on the market, but it's arguably one of the most elegant. Designed to be agile, cost-effective, highly upgradable, and interoperable, the Gripen offers a powerful combination of versatility and affordability that few aircraft in its class can match. Developed by Saab in collaboration with the Swedish Air Force, the Gripen was envisioned as a response to the changing strategic realities of post-Cold War Europe. Sweden, a country with a tradition of neutrality and defense self-reliance, needed a fighter jet that could defend its territory, operate from dispersed locations like highways, and be maintained by a small logistics footprint. The result was the JAS-39, a lightweight, multi-role aircraft with the flexibility to conduct air-to-air, -air, air to ground and reconnaissance missions all in one frame. In fact, the acronym JAS stands for Yacht, Fighter, Attack, Attack, and Spawning, Reconnaissance. From the beginning, Gripen's design philosophy was centered around balance, speed, agility, electronic sophistication, and operational efficiency. With a length of approximately 14.1 meters, or 46 feet, and a wingspan of 8.4 meters, or 27 and a half feet, the Gripen is relatively compact. It's powered by a single Volvo RM12 turbofan engine, a derivative of the General Electric F404, allowing it to reach speeds of Mach 2 and maintain a combat radius of about 800 kilometers, or 500 miles, with a ferry range of up to 4,000 kilometers, or 2,400 miles, using external fuel tanks. But it's not raw speed that makes the Gripen deadly. It's the aircraft's systems and situational awareness. From its early variants, the jet has featured fly-by-wire controls and a digital cockpit with a heads-up display and multifunction screens that allow the pilot to focus on the mission rather than basic aircraft operation. Gripen is also famed for its Delta Canard design, which offers exceptional maneuverability and short takeoff and landing capability, a critical factor for operations from Sweden's numerous remote and improvised airstrips. When it comes to weaponry, the Gripen is nothing short of a multi-role powerhouse. It can carry a wide variety of munitions, including the Meteor Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missile, which gives it one of the longest engagement ranges in the world, well over 60 miles. The AIM 120 AMRAAM is also supported, as well as the Iris T and Sidewinder short-range missiles for close combat. On the air-to-ground side, the Gripen can deliver precision-guided bombs, like the GBU-12 Paveway-2, the Taurus-kept 350 cruise missile with a range of over 300 miles, and air-to-surface missiles such as the RBS-15 anti-ship missile. Its 27mm Mauser BK-27 internal cannon is suitable for both air-to-air -air engagements and strafing ground targets. The aircraft has a total of eight hardpoints for external stores and weapons, giving it considerable payload flexibility for multi-role operations. The Gripen's capabilities are further enhanced by its integration into advanced command and control systems. Its data link capabilities are among the best in the world, enabling real-time sharing of radar tracks, threat information, and targeting data across multiple platforms. This network-centric design allows Gripen pilots to operate as part of a unified battlefield picture increasing mission efficiency and survivability. The aircraft's radar, the PS-5A Pulse Doppler Multimode Radar, delivers long-range tracking and engagement, while electronic warfare systems provide jamming, deception, and threat warning. One of the most compelling aspects of the Gripen program is its evolutionary path. The original JAS-39A and B variants entered service in the late 1990s and were steadily upgraded through the CD models, which introduced NATO interoperability, aerial refueling capability, and better avionics. But the largest leap came with the Gripen E and F generation, also known as Gripen NG, or Next Generation. The Gripen E, which had its first flight in 2017 and entered production in the early 2020s, 
incorporates a powerful General Electric F414G engine, an AESA radar developed by Leonardo, a new electronic warfare suite, an infrared search and track system, and greater internal fuel capacity. This model offers more thrust, greater endurance, and significantly enhanced mission systems compared to its predecessors. Importantly, the Gripen E remains relatively affordable. Its cost per flight hour is among the lowest in its class, reportedly under $5,000 per hour, compared to between $20,000 and $30,000 for many of its Western competitors. It also offers a small logistics footprint, can be maintained by a small crew, and was designed for high sortie rates and rapid turnaround. Another nod to Sweden's emphasis on dispersed operations. How does the Gripen compare with other modern fighters? Against the Eurofighter Typhoon, it's smaller, lighter, and generally less expensive to operate. Although the Typhoon may have a slight edge in raw power and acceleration due to its twin engines. Compared to the French Dassault Rafale, another multi-role competitor, the Gripen E boasts more modern architecture in some areas, particularly when it comes to open systems integration and future upgradability. As for fifth-generation aircraft like the F-35, the Gripen doesn't have stealth, but it compensates with ease of deployment, lower cost, and high levels of electronic warfare capability. In fact, Gripen's EW suite is so advanced that many analysts regard it as a soft stealth aircraft, using electronic deception, jamming, and countermeasures to remain survivable against more powerful adversaries. It's no surprise, then, that the Gripen has attracted international interest. Brazil is the launch export customer for the Gripen E, with plans to manufacture some of the aircraft domestically through a technology transfer agreement. South Africa, Thailand, Hungary, and the Czech Republic all operate Gripen C or D models, and nations like India, the Philippines, and Canada have considered the aircraft for their own procurement programs. Saab has made Gripen not just a product, but a concept, a fighter that adapts to national needs. Countries that buy Gripen often receive not just aircraft, but the tools to support, maintain, and even upgrade them locally. This is a major factor in its appeal, particularly for nations looking to develop indigenous aerospace capabilities without relying completely on the US or other major powers. Gripen's ability to launch from roads and rough fields in under 800 meters, refuel and rearm in minutes, and get back into the air with minimal support are all features born out of Sweden's Cold War defense doctrine, one that anticipated Soviet air superiority and prioritized survival through dispersion. In many ways, these Cold War survival tactics are seeing a renaissance in modern warfare particularly in regions where advanced precision strike capabilities threaten fixed air bases. The aircraft's software-defined nature ensures that it will remain adaptable for decades to come. Saab has designed the Gripen E with open systems architecture and modular software that allow operators to update the fighter's capabilities without waiting for massive block upgrades. In an age where threats evolve faster than procurement cycles, this flexibility is invaluable. Gripen also stands out for its pilot-centric design. Its cockpit is built for high situational awareness with a large wide area display, HOTUS controls, voice command capability, and integrated helmet-mounted displays. Pilots can rapidly switch between mission profiles and retask sensors mid-flight, reflecting the aircraft's multi-role DNA. Training pipelines are also relatively streamlined, thanks to Gripen's forgiving flight characteristics and digital flight systems. Interestingly, the Gripen has participated in several major international exercises, including Red Flag, where it held its own against some of the best NATO jets in simulated dogfights and strike missions. Though not as widely deployed as the F-16, or as stealthy as the F-35, the Gripen remains a serious contender in any airspace where speed, flexibility, and networking matter more than stealth alone. The future of the Gripen program appears stable, particularly with the Gripen E platform now entering service and additional customers considering procurement. 
Saab is also exploring new technologies such as manned-unmanned teaming, artificial intelligence integration, and compatibility with loyal wingman drones. In the coming years, we may see the Gripen flying alongside robotic partners in coordinated missions, yet another sign of its forward-thinking design. In conclusion, the Saab JAS-39 Gripen is more than just an underdog in a world of giant defense contractors and billion-dollar stealth fighters. It's a testament to how smart engineering, clever doctrine, and user-focused design can produce a fighter that is not only survivable, but also effective and exportable. It may never dominate headlines like the F-35 or Typhoon, but it quietly fulfills a crucial role in modern air power, bringing high-end capability to nations that value independence, affordability, and operational versatility. With its continued evolution, the Gripen isn't just keeping up with modern warfare, it's helping to shape it. What are your thoughts on the Gripen? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.